So I got another package and I'm uh, pretty excited about this. But before I open this and tell you all about it, I want to say this. This channel is not going to turn into one of those channels that just reviews products every week. I know I showed you a package that I got last week and now I have this one. However, I'm really, really excited about this for two reasons. One, I have no idea what's inside this box. Um, and two, this is from Academy Sports and Outdoors to Texas Fishing Force. And I just think that's really cool. I don't know why Academy is sending me boxes or how they got that information to send me boxes, but uh, I'm really honored and uh, I wanna see what's inside this. So let's open it up. Wow. So we got a bunch of this stuff, but we also have, I think this is a fishing room. And another one. Yeah, three of them. And a card, and uh, yeah, see, right there, from Academy. And on this card it says, we're excited to launch these new reels and hope you enjoy them the next time you're out on the water. If you take any pics or videos, please tag us on social, at Academy plus hashtag gifted. Academy Sports and Outdoors. Well, that's awesome. But, let's look at these. These boxes are really, ooh. Look at that. This is the HD Ethos from H2O Express. Nice bait caster hill. Man, there is no movement at all on it. This is nice. Look at that. And we have the M3 metal. Uh, yeah, that's... These are so nice. And last, the TAC-40. Oh, I love that one. Check out that carbon fiber. These are really, really nice, but I've got to admit, I know absolutely nothing about any of these reels. Um, I do want to test them out. I'm gonna to have to do some research and uh, look these up, see what they're all about. Put some line on them and go test them out. This is, I can't believe they sent this. This is incredible. Um, but I'll tell you, it's starting to make a little bit of sense now. There was a guy that wrote me on Instagram uh, a few days ago, maybe a few weeks ago, and asked if I would like to try out some reels. However, I never put together that he was associated with Academy and now, this makes a little bit more sense, but uh, I'm not gonna put his name because I don't know if he even wants that uh, broadcasted, but wow, thank you Academy, and thank you to the guy that sent this. This is, this is incredible. Uh, I'm really excited to try these out. Like I said, I don't know anything about these, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. I'm gonna have to put some line on these, and yeah, I wanna, I wanna test these. These are, Man, these are nice. Let me uh, let me show you what they look like. Well, we are 
out on the water and it is an absolutely beautiful day today uh, it's crystal clear super flat now, I generally like a little bit of water movement when I'm fishing but visually it's it's perfect out here and uh, you know can't ask for a, a better day to look at but I do like water movement I do like a, a little bit of wind and there is uh, next to none of that so you know either way we're gonna fish we're gonna see what we can do now I did set up uh, all three of my reels I, I got them on rods I have put some uh, 20 pound braid on it I tried some new braid today uh, the suffix so never tried that before we're gonna give that a shot uh, I set up three rods for the three new reels. Um, this is on the Revenant Elite, um, and I've got just a DSL with a chatter weight on that. I've got another one that has the popping cork, and I've got a third rod that uh, I've got a corky grip rigged up on that. So, yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to give it hell today. See what we can get on. Hopefully, we can catch some good fish. Now, I've never been here. Everybody keeps telling me to come down here, and so that's what I'm doing today. And uh, yeah, let's get to fishing. Well, we got one on here. Uh, seems small. I'm a little flounder. Little baby flounder. Potato chips. Chartreuse, Texas Ride on the Rig, and this one was caught on that uh, TAC 40. Really like this reel. I mean, it it does uh, cast really, really well. Anyway, yeah. All right, we're gonna let him go. So here's the TAC 40, and uh, this thing is so smooth. It casts so well. It's, it's pretty ridiculous for that $99 price point. Um, this really casts and operates, honestly, uh, comparable to reels that I, I've, I've paid 200 plus for. Um, it's, it's super smooth. There's, uh, there's no wiggle room in it at all. There's, I mean, it's, very very tight consistencies it's it, it I like it a lot so you know for uh, for under 100 bucks I don't know if you can really beat this and it just looks amazing too with all that carbon fiber handle and I really like this kind of OD color well I have switched over to the uh, HD uh, ethos uh, I'm really excited to test this one out uh, and one of the main reasons is because this is the only reel out of these that has the external braking system and uh, that's really really convenient I'm very used to reels that have that beyond that it's got this kind of like matte black and blue and it's just it's just nice it's it looks amazing so this is probably my favorite looking reel out of the group um, this is the mid-range reel I believe this one retails for $79 and um, I'm really really impressed with this as well this cast so great we have got another one also not fighting very hard uh, okay little trout Well, he's legal, but uh, not great. Nice trout though, pretty healthy. All right, bud. And uh, yeah, that was caught with the uh, midnight blue and white, my personal Texas fishing force lure. 
on the uh, HD Ethos. Um, again, I'm really liking these reels. They they seem to work. All right, we got another one. Uh, let's see what we got. Another decent trout. Mad. Uh, the wind has picked up for sure. And kind of swallowed this here. That was on the uh, chartreuse flash. I did switch back over to the uh, TAC 40. Uh, definitely my favorite reel out of the three. Decent little trout though. So uh, he's he's definitely legal, but uh, we're gonna throw him back like we always do. See you later. Man, he was slimy. Ugh. I do love the old chartreuse, chartreuse flash when things just aren't working. Uh, this always comes through, so yeah. We're gonna do a little bit more fishing, but uh, it's getting a little later in the day now, so I'm gonna start heading on back and uh, fish on the way back. Well, looks like we got another one. Man, he's spinning me around here. Well, maybe it's par partially the wind. I'm guessing we got another trout here. Yes, sir. Didn't change anything up. Still on the uh, chartreuse flash. Tac 40 reel. Another keeper though. I go. Oh my god. Gotta make it hard. Chartreuse flash. Yet again. Nice try. I'm pretty sure he's legal. Yep, he is legal. Another good uh good trout. See ya. Maybe I should have just come out later in the day, because this morning uh I couldn't get anything to bite. So still haven't caught anything on the uh metal M3 reel. Um, maybe I'll put chartreuse flash on that and see what happens, you know. It seems to be working. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna switch it up here. Even this, this uh, is the metal M3. This is the lower end of the three. Uh, I believe retail on this is $59. Even still, this casts like a dream, you know, there's no issues. Now, I will say this, there is a definite uh, difference between the uh, metal M3 and then as you go up to the Ethos and the uh, TAC-40. Uh, the TAC-40 really outperforms the others um, by, by a good amount. And when you're talking about a difference of 20 or 40 dollars honestly the tac 40 is worth it uh i will i will probably keep that reel on a rod even when i switch back to my shimano dcs <coughs> because i like it that much it's it really is nice these are great budget reels um but that tac 40 you know still on a budget it's right at a hundred dollars that's where it's at, honestly, but I don't have an issue with any of these. They all cast fantastic. 
Uh, I've had no problems with uh, pulling in fish. The drag settings are, are, are great. Uh, they're, yeah. I mean, look at that. Yeah, for 50 bucks. Worth it. Another trout. That was a good one. And he demolished his lure too. With the quick release. Wow. He hit this right next to the kayak. I didn't actually get him in the kayak, so I can't say I caught him, but that was on the <laughs> Metal M3 finally. So, yeah. We're gonna do it again. In the kayak this time. So that is uh, trout on all three reels today. Got a flounder as well. Got a few trout. Yep, chartreuse flash. Should have been throwing this all day. That one's a little bit smaller than the others, but still a trout. Still a fish. Real handled it perfect. Always fun to catch these little 15, 16, 17 inch trout. But, you know, a lot of times you'll get in these schools of them and you can, uh, you can catch 20 or 30 of them in a row. But catching one over that 25 mark and getting up close to 30. Change your perspective on the <laughs> trout. Only takes one. All right, let's head in. It's a long day. Time to move. Get on the road. <laughs> 